What's going on, my friends? DJ Lowstax here. Welcome back or to the channel today. I'll try to keep this one short and sweet, but what I want to do is show you exactly how I make my monograms for the front of my DJ booth in Canva. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we're in here in Canva. Uh, what I want to do is start by creating a new design. So I'm going to click here on create new design. <clears throat> when you get in here, uh, I'm going to go to presentation. That's going to be 1920 by 1080, which is uh, you know great resolution for my booth. And then from here, pretty simple. All we're going to do is go to elements and we're going to search uh, well, right here in my recent, actually, wedding monogram. So there's some really cool stuff in here. Uh, if you go to graphics here, there's going to be, well, there's photos, but there's also graphics. I usually go into the graphics here and you click see all. Sometimes you can get lucky and there might be one already that has your exact couple's uh, initials. I have gotten lucky and had that happen a few times, but most of the time, I'll just make this one quick for you. Uh, this is pick something something random i do have the pro version so i can click any of these but if you do not have the pro version some of this stuff is also uh, free to use so i'm just going to grab just something random here how about oh, put me under pressure we'll go with uh this one right here all right i don't like this one because it's white <laughs> so back up we'll go up here we'll grab this one all right, so we'll grab this. We're going to stretch this out, make it nice and big. And then from here, I like to try to find the center. We're going to move it up a little bit because I want to put their last name at the bottom. But then we're going to go to text. We're going to add a, let's just say add heading. And we're going to pick a font, something neat. Let's just go with this one for, for ease here. And let's see, our initials are gonna be, we're gonna, it's gonna be Brittany and say Ryan. All right, so we'll do this. We wanna unbold this because we want it looking nice. We're gonna turn bold off. We can move this around. I actually don't love this font. Let's find something a little better. And there's so many fonts in Canva, it's it's pretty wild. There we go. That's better. So we're going to make this a little bit bigger. So we got a B here. And then easy way to do this is just command copy command or command C command V. That will drop off a new one. And this is going to change to an R because it's Brittany and Ryan. And then we're going to do another text layer. Create one more here. And this one's just going to be the and sign. We're going to change this to that same font. Make it bigger. Get it centered here. So we got B and R. We're going to do one more text layer down at the bottom here. And we're going to just put, change it back to the same font. And their last name, it's going to be Ryan. I don't know. Let's do Smith since it's my last name. Smith. So. It's the Smith wedding. We can move this up into here, B and R Smith. And then how about one more text layer? And we're gonna put the date. So I'll move this down here. And the date is gonna be today's date. So we'll do three, six, 24. And we'll change this to our font. I don't like it as that font, actually. Let's change it to something different. Find something that looks good, but not too gaudy. How about... Let's 
course, I'm not loving any of these. Plus, I typed that wrong. 2024. There we go. Um, there we go. That one looks pretty cool. So, we'll center that. And obviously, we're just doing this for the sake of the video. But this is how basically how I make these. And what you can do is add animations now. So I'm going to add animations. I'm going to have this kind of pop in. Boom. That's going to pop. And then we're going to grab our letters. If you hold shift, you can select more than one. And we're going to animate these with about... Uh, breathe there we go those are just kind of kind of come in we'll make this breathe too and our font we're gonna have it rise so that's our video basically and one thing I want to do here I do want to increase the duration just so it happens a little a little slower so we're gonna increase our increase our duration to 10 seconds and then all you guys have to do this is super easy so we just created this let's present let's preview it let's see what it looks like let's hit play here kind of breathes in as you can see one more time from the top boom and then all you have to do after that is you're going to go up here to share and what we want to do is hit download we want to change it to an MP4 video. So MP4 video, 1080p is fine. And change the name to whatever your couple's name is. So we have Britt and Ryan Smith. There we go. So share, you would click download, MP4. And then all I do is play it within QuickTime. So uh, I just export it as an MP4, play it in QuickTime through my video or through my my uh, TV screen. Super easy. In QuickTime, if you go up to View, you can hit Loop, and it will loop that video. Uh, so it just keeps keeps playing. So actually, I'll go ahead. And I'll download this real quick for you guys. It's gonna take a couple seconds, um, and I'll show you exactly how I'm playing it. You know, in QuickTime, once once it gets downloaded here. All right. So now that it's downloaded. We're gonna open it. And you guys can't see that, so I'm gonna have to go back over here just a second. And we wanna share QuickTime player. So now you can see my QuickTime player. I'm gonna hit play. Boom, that's our video. And you can't see this part, but up in the top under view, you're gonna hit loop. And now, as you can see, that video is just going to continuously loop and play over and over again. And close that out. Get back over here. And all right, guys, that is exactly how I make my videos. Uh, there's no secret to it. It's really simple. Canva is an amazing tool. Uh, you can do a lot of other things with it. You could also do photo slideshows in there as well. Um, pretty simple. All you do is add your pictures into Canva and do the exact same thing. Just export it as a MP4 and you've got a slideshow. As always, guys, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing. Click that like button and click that notification bell so you can get notifications of my upcoming videos. Peace.